hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing you're welcome and that's on that period so guys uh, for today's video um you can say it's either a eyeshadow tutorial or a eyebrow tutorial but you know what let's try and perfect our eyeshadows and our eyebrows i see too many aunties too many girls you know i know they're learning but too many people looking makeup looking like are you leaving your house or where are you coming from kind of vibe so you know i want to show you how i get my nice flawless eyebrows and also how to blend the eyeshadow you don't want to just pack on the eyeshadow on the lid and say oh yes i've done my house you know you don't want to do that okay let's take a deep breath together and let's start So you can use any of your product, existing product you already have to create this look. You don't have to use the same product I'm using. If you do have the same product I'm using, good for you. Congratulations. But you know, let's use what we let's use what we have, you know, to create a nice, beautiful makeup. First things first, um, uh, let's start with the eyebrows. So this is kind of like a do and don't for eyeshadow and eyebrow situation. So this side is going to be my do side and this is going to be my done side. So this is the side I see often and this is the side, you know, you try to kind of be like this. You don't have to be like this. You can even be more than my techniques, but at least get, get there, get it. So I'm just going to, you know, just do my spoolie not do much really use a brush eyebrow brush is called spilly to just brush up your eyebrows to the direction is growing you can also use a soap you know brow to like leave your eyebrows in place and if you have a bushy eyebrows try and thread them or use a razor to kind of like trim any excess around your eyebrows as you can see my eyebrows as well trimmed and defined so sometimes i don't really need to put anything but it is a day and i see a lot of people wear tattoo eyebrows like who told you to do that like who really told you to do that microblading is okay but tattoo eyebrow like come on like what anyway enough me ranting or talking so let's start um you can either use a hybrid pencil if you're good with a pencil uh, a pomade which is this or a gel depending on the format you want to use i am going to use a wrap pomade um this is from benefit um you can get a lot of this pomade out there it doesn't have to be benefit because benefit is to be pricey so you take the little brush that comes with it take your product so you take your product after you brush your eyebrows you want to give your eyebrows a line and then you like outline your brows outline your eyebrows follow the shape of it or you can create a shape at the bottom and you can put at the top depending on your mood okay for easing application just line up bottom line up top this is what we're gonna look like and whatever is left on the brush we fill it in in a you know the direction of where the bra is growing like give it a hairline stroke it may not be too bold but just fill it in and you make sure from this side of your brow to the ending should be a bit darker and from this section to the beginning should be a bit lighter you know to make it look more natural realistic just give it a hairline stroke fill the gaps in this shouldn't take you like 10 minutes or more than 10 minutes to do very easy very easy you outline the brows and then you fill it in that's it I'm done so this is the part I see on on 
people let's say if we were to use a bra pomade what do they do actually so yes i know they outline it still outlined still follow the direction of the brows and then they make everything bold everything bold as if I see if people don't know that you're wearing bra like I don't know what everything has to be bold this is what I normally see people do sometimes the shape is even more than their eyebrows and you can see over plucked air coming up through the the outline they give it and everything is all bold and filled in like literally i'm not trying to like spoil this bra to make it look bad but literally this is how i see some people high brag look so it still look nice more than you know but this is more looking simple and natural than this tell me if i'm wrong then I see people going on top of the, of the eyebrows with a concealer to give you like a airline stroke, like space. It's nice in picture. In person, you look like a clown. That's my opinion. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. So yes, remember the done side, you do it side. Just something simple and just brush it and everything is going to blend together. You can go ahead using your Clebra primer on top of your eyebrows, but this is what you get. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So next is to clean up the high. I don't know why I keep scratching my hair. So next is to clean up our eyebrows, clean up mini to make it look more nicer, look more defined. That's what we mean by clean up. So we use a concealer to, you know, clean up the eyebrows. And concealer is like a thick, creamy base product to use. So like this little pot. There's so many different type of consistent of concealer out there. If you have a very thick, consistent, creamy based concealer, you can use your foundation or you can use your concealer, like your under eye concealer. Remember, under eye concealer and foundation tends to be liquidy. So what you do is make them dry down a bit so you can take a liquid concealer like this. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the back of your hand don't go straight on it with your um, brush just blow on it or give it for like 10 minutes to like settle into the ends warm up the product and dry it down then you can go ahead and use it to conceal your brows if you don't have, have a creamy base concealer so i'm gonna um, conceal this side of the brow while waiting for this side to dry to go over the side just to like show you what i'm trying to say so you take a flat brush it could be an angle br brush but a very flat brush you take you take your concealer and then you want to start concealing from the middle of your high brows not the beginning not the ending the middle like this like this like that okay so they see some product on the eyebrow on the brush so you want to start tracing and cleaning up any lines that you think is not in shape or is not in place just to give you like a straight line the concealer we clean it up and go ahead again do that and whatever is also left on the brush you want to bring the excess towards the front towards the front like that and then blend and put whatever is left all over the high lid out and go ahead and try to like blend everything out with that flat brush okay we want the attention to be on the arch of the brow not really at the beginning because the beginning is already nice on its own and at the end as well to give it to give it a very sharp edge you still need to blend yes it's a cream product but you still need to make sure it's it's not sticky it's not just put there you just need to blend it out you can take a dense brush like this um with a you know dense brush or any type of brush you think is okay for blending it could be small it doesn't have to be big and just 
kindly gently you know press on or tap on that product to blend out you don't need to do too much you just want to make sure you blend out makeup is all about blending when you apply your foundation your concealer you blend if you don't blend it's not gonna it's not gonna blend itself it's not gonna stay there it's just gonna look okay you put something up face so you need to make sure you tapply blend out bring it forward bring it outward bring it in the middle and slightly go on top to make sure everything is balanced that's it balanced you can see very nice attraction is my eyes are snatched that's what i'm trying to say so personally i wear foundation before my eyebrows so when i wear my foundation my upper brows is already concealed covered with my foundation so i don't need to go on top but if you're the type of person that wear your eyebrows before the foundation you just need to use your foundation color to kind of like correct above your eyebrows you know foundation color don't use the same concealer you use underneath to color to correct your up, upper but what am i saying don't use the same concealer you use underneath your eyebrows to do the top use your foundation color to correct it so let me get a foundation color it could remember a cream product it could be a cream product it could be a liquid product you just need to let it like settle it a bit to dry down so it does not go mess messing up your already made eyebrow so i'm going to be using this foundation co called zambia from juvia's place it's kind of like my it's like a contour shade you want to make sure you use uh, a foundation color so you want to do it gently you can use the same flat brush or different flat brush or you just make sure you clean it again the same way we did it at the bottom you want to make sure you do it at the top as well start at the middle right and walk your way down and correct any any shape that went overboard and then what is left on the brush bring it forward mm -hmm. you still want to go ahead and blend it you can use your beauty blender your beauty sponge and your foundation um brush to blend above your eyebrows careful so you don't blend the eyebrows itself and careful you know and like that by the time you go ahead with your proper you be your foundation everything is gonna blend into itself remember we have our liquid concealer yeah if you don't have your teeth creamy concealer so we want to make sure we correct this side so this is what I see take the product just peep. I see people starting from the beginning like this you can still you can still see it's not dry properly but that's the point that's why you need a cream product people start from the beginning like this and you know dry it down yeah like there's too much product in the beginning so by the time you go back and start correcting the product is moving it's moving itself because it doesn't have a weight to balance on or a weight to to like be stay on i'm trying to be careful i'm trying to still be perfect on my done side but you know nobody's perfect so this is what i see a lot of the time and not just that i also see people use the same concealer for underneath the brows on top of the eyebrows let me show you and then your eyebrows go looking like halo brows. They start from the beginning as well. Like why? Why do you do that? Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of people still do this in 2021. Come on, change your A game. Sometimes people master the way they do it, you know, it may suit them, but you can't hide this in your foundation. It's still going to show that there's something not right there. And 
you go ahead and blend you still need to blend everything you do but I know sometimes people don't blend they just put it there as if it's gonna dry itself you just need to blend and yep you know I was once doing this before when I started doing makeup I'm not gonna say I'm all perfect now I was once doing this mistake and I always have a way of hiding it that you can't tell that's the part of being a makeup person you can't tell even now if I were to wear my foundation and I blend it properly you still can't tell that you know I use a two different lighter foundation and I can still always correct the middle yeah like I can just go with my spoolie with a little bit of you know foundation and just brush it and brush it up what okay we're not about correcting now i don't want to correct that so i'm just saying this is what i see a lot so let's check it out this is my do side look at how fl flattering and nice the eyebrows is looking very simple not simple very defined looking natural and this is our the most commonly bright i see sometimes it's not even more defined like this but yeah Sometimes people don't even use concealer. I don't even know why I use concealer in this eye, but I'm just trying to show you what I see a lot. I'm going to clean the concealer because I don't really see people use concealer. So, on their brows. They so just leave their brows on like that. You don't need to do that. Okay, clean it up. Um, that doesn't make no sense. So, I went ahead to clean the concealer underneath these eyebrows because most of the time I don't see people use concealer at all. They just put the eyebrows in there and just wear their foundation and just call it like, you know what, next is the eyeshadow. So, now how to do your proper eyeshadow? You don't have to do something very big, something very bold, like colorful, or like you have to give it like a, a smoky high look. Like all of the stuff you see online you don't really have to just do two shadows or one shadow you're good to go so for a beginner process how to do your eyeshadow just using one or two shadows and you're still gonna get a flawless eye look okay this is our do side always always go with a eyeshadow based product I cannot emphasize much on that that is really important for giving a long-lasting eyeshadow a long-lasting eye look a pigmented vibrant eyeshadow you know on your eyelid you need to do that in a situation where you don't use a eyeshadow base you're gonna get a creasy eyeshadow look you're gonna get a sweaty drippy all over your face eyeshadow look you know what so let me just show you how we do it so you can either use any brand high primer it could be a white pencil um thing that is like a primer on your lid it could be any color any shade color the brighter you go the more pigmented and brighter your eyeshadow will be the more darker the eyeshadow base the more probably less pigmented your eyeshadow will be and if you don't have an eyeshadow base fine it's okay you can use your concealer that's why concealer is important because by the time you blend this and you want to do your eyeshadow you can apply a little bit of a lighter um, concealer on your high lid blend it out and that can be a base for your eyeshadow so for my high primer on this size I am going to be using the P Louise base eyeshadow primer is called an eyeshadow primer for a reason so i'm just gonna put it on it you can use a brush to apply this or you can just put it from the tube like that you don't have to put too much really because little bit goes a long way as you can see i really had it a lot but little bit goes a long way it blends all over the eyes so this is me once you apply apply your eye primer you want to make sure you blend it as well blending is important if not you're not gonna get the payout or the well smooth texture from your eyeshadow you can use the same brush you use for your concealer to blend out the eyeshadow primer or you can use a different brush it's up to you it's optional but i'm using the same brush i use and the brush i've been using for my concealer blending is from muffy and this is the g34 eyeshadow brush or a concealer brush or whatever you want to make sure you blend smoothly you remember there's a lot of pigment a lot of eyeshadow sorry a lot of um, cream on your brush so even if when you blend over 
you can see it transfer so you want to make sure you leave it just down here and tap carefully just tap light handed it's gonna blend just tap some people go ahead set your eyelid with a powder you don't really have to do that because your eyeshadow is also like a powder form so it's gonna set the con the concealer or the eyeshadow primer or base itself without you using a powder to say if so if you get what i'm trying to say yeah so once you feel like you're satisfied with your blending stop blending and we start applying the shadows wait a damn minute <laughs> what? for the eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using today i'm going to be using um this juvia's place wahala 2 palette really because it has a nice color i can work with and i can show you how pigmented it can be like i said we don't have to do a lot we don't have to do cut crease we don't have to do smoky eyes just a natural base high look is good for this part we can either use a flat brush or a dense or a round blended brush eyeshadow brush depends on your preference so if you have a hooded eyes you can go with a flat brush or you can go any crevices or you know round folds of your eye depends so it depends on you anyway if you have different brush so to <clears throat> So let's say we want to look purple, we just want to look one pigment, what we do, you just take your brush straight to the shadow you want and place it on your eyelid, okay? And sometimes the first time you place your eyeshadow is not going to show, you just have to keep on uh, packing the shadow in and then you can see the pigment is coming out. You just do that all over your eyelid and that will set your eyeshadow primer in place and then more shadow you put in the more pigmented your shadow is gonna be so the shadow I'm using for my eyelid is called dream from the palette and it's a bit like a purplish color so it's, it's a bit because that's what i say from the pan but on my eyelid it's looking like a very dark blue but the more shadow i put on it the more you see that purple pigment out so once you feel like all over your eyelid is saturated with the eyeshadow whatever is left on the brush you go ahead to like blend out the edges of that shadow out so you can see there's nothing on this brush other than the pigment i initially applied on you can either just blend that like this up to your crease line if you want to bring it up to your eyeshadow uh, up to your eyebrows you can this is just to give you that one high look i'm just going to be wearing all purple today and this is all purple i'm going to be wearing eye look so this is where we introduce another shade color to the eyelid this is called the crease color so if you want to apply a different eyeshadow than the purple you initially applied you take a different brush entirely you don't want to go back and use the same brush to use for the first shadow. a different brush entirely let's say we want a green or a pink eyeshadow or an orange eyeshadow depending um let's say let's go for a green so i'm using jealous from the eyeshadow palette let's say and this is where we put this is where two color comes in you put it on your you know crease area so this is like a crease color and then you blend it slightly you blend it slightly in a circular motion or in a back and front motion depending on the way you're feeling the brush is all about your feeling you go back and deepen your shadow go over to the back and front the reason we go back and front is that we're going from the start to the beginning from you know from the end to the front back and front and whatever is left on the brush you kind of like feather it a little bit that that means light pressure on the brush and blend it up to your eyebrows like that or you can use a clean brush to like clean the edges up just like that you can apply more pigment if you feel you don't get it that green apply more pigment from start to finish when you apply the pigment you press on a little bit then the, the, the color is gonna deposit on the eyelid 
you don't like you don't need to be very powerful to do this once you've done that then you go ahead and blend again with the same brush blend 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 and this is what we call our crease shade so I don't know why I'm using green and purple for this eye look but it looks bomb and then the more you blend the more the initial pigment on your eyelid is disappearing so you want to go back to that dream that purple shade from the start and you know tap it on the eyelid tap it on the eyelid into the green sometimes you can start with the um crease color first which is the green and the lid color later but it depends it depends how you feel about the look tap into the green and then you blend in between where the green and purple meet you just blend that out and if you feel like you know you're not getting that blending stretch your eyebrows if i rest my face now my eyes is going to be closed a little bit but when i stretch my eyes i can go in there i can cover any folds you know that i want and that is it then circular motion to like finish the blending to be together and that's how you can rock one or two eyeshadow without you messing it up so let's say we need to apply the same eyeshadow on this eyelid but without a eyeshadow primer this is what i see people do so they can either start with the lid first you can see i'm applying that purple shade and it's barely showing on the eyelid it's barely showing so this is what people do barely showing on the eyelid yep and let's say we do the green as well on top this is barely showing this is why you need a concealer or a eyeshadow primer on your face so it's barely showing even if the more you apply the more you apply the eyeshadow it can never be this way our pigmented it is so this is what i see don't 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 do it don't don't do it of course to them it's beautiful it's nice but i can see your skin underneath the eyeshadow like where where is it and if you give this look a couple of minutes hours you can see i'll start creasing on these eyes or I start sweating on these eyes because everything is not properly blended there is no cream product to put them in place so everything is going to be moving whereas this this is where I put it and this is where it's gonna stay so personally or personally I sometimes don't really bring my eyeshadow right underneath my eyes unless I want to go for that full smoky look but if you want to bring your eyeshadow down to your eyes you can use a black liner or the color liner for that so let's say let's say i want to just smoke my under eyes out i just want to like oh look at my under eyes so i'm going to use a black liner to water my eyes and use a little bit on the lid as well and then i'm going to take a pencil brush so you take a pencil brush you can either take a darker shade or um a eyeshadow you want to bring under if it's a purple you take it and blend that that black with that purple out underneath your eyelid blend it out and connect it to the eyelid apply that to purple you can either put green or purple depending on what you want to do but it's just perfect blend it up that is that you can see how open my eyes is now so let's say i'm going to do that same techniques here um maybe i decide to wear a liner on this look let's say so people do this put a black liner but they don't blend it up they just leave it there okay you see how pretty we are 
you see the difference the difference and our eyeshadow is there it's not gone it's just more defined and whereas you can see the hello between you can see the line of concealer yeah it's not blending you can see the skin even sometimes I don't even see people to put two color to put one color and then you know just put on the lid and you see the skin it's like you see the eyeshadow here covered in their wooded eyes and then you see the skin you even see the grain even I'm even generous by putting put it the grain mm -hmm. you don't have to do much and if in a situation where you want to put a shimmer color or give it a smoky hat or a cut crease just that easy um, just put a another concealer another lighter concealer carefully shape the line you want to put in and then kindly tap on the shade but yeah so this is the finished eye look guys like it's not please let's let's keep on learning like learning is not um, it does not have an aspiring date it does not have an ending everybody learn every day i learn every day i learn from myself i learn from other people and i was like practice practice even me doing this tutorial to you to me it's kind of like a therapeutic practice for me like okay this is what i'm doing wrong this is what i need to do oh this is how i like my hybrids to be uh you, you get me like we got to learn if you don't learn you don't know anything you'll be left behind you'll be ignorant you can't be aware because you're not learning educate yourself it's not just about makeup it could be in about anything at all okay right so i don't know if i if i have anything else to say but this is how we perfect our eyeshadow and our eyebrows if you made it to the end of this video thank you very much and if this video helped you in any way also thank you and you're welcome so i want you to you know leave your comment below on you know your thought about this look not just about the look we are mistakes as well where do you find it difficult in your makeup do you do these mistakes or you don't or you've improved your makeup like let me know we want to learn together and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up like it as well it's really important it helps the video grow share this video to any Anybody you know that need to that needs to perfect their makeup you know there's lacking share this video to them subscribe to the channel if you haven't you have to is a must and you know click on that notification bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload any video it could be tomorrow it could be next week but on today guys I'm gonna see you in my next video take care of yourself love yourself be good I will see you <laughs> soon I don't know why I'm making it awkward like it's difficult for me to end my videos because I'm always awkward at the end anyway do it sees peace out and bye